What's going on, Too Many Records Universe? I have too many records, as you guys know, that's why you watch this channel. I am going to narrow it down to a small subsect of my collection, namely my Mondo soundtrack. So if you know Mondo, amazing label, they do all sorts of soundtrack issues, and they also have expanded into like figurines and enamel pins and stuff like that. They're also known for posters, of course. But the focus of this video is gonna be some of their records. I have a bunch of them, and I'm gonna show you four of my favorite Mondo releases I own. Not all of them. There's definitely enough to do a second part of this video, and I think I will, but for this part, I'm also gonna do a giveaway. Don't ever say I don't love you guys. This is not the record I'm giving away. This is an extremely rare record. I'm just showing it off. Guardians of the Galaxy with a screen-printed cover done by the amazing artist Tyler Stout. You can feel this, guys. Whew. This is an amazing soundtrack, as you guys know. This is from Volume 1, and this is just all the songs. So not the not the score, this is the songs like Hooked on a Feeling and Spirit in the Sky, Moon Age Daydream, and all of the good tracks that make up this iconic soundtrack. I've definitely shown this off in a video before, but it's been a long time, and this is a Mondo-specific video, and this is my favorite Mondo release I own, so I have to show it. The way they did this was they had some kind of open pre-order for a short amount of time, and if you ordered in that time frame, you're guaranteed to get it. I don't know how many copies exist, but it goes for like a hundred. 150 bucks now, so probably not that many. Uh, and it's on gorgeous, unbelievable Infinity Stone colored vinyl. So this is one of the coolest looking records I own, I think, with this nice purple and white kind of explosion on there. This release is awesome because it came with a handbill and a bonus handbill if you were early enough to order. I got both. The bonus is Korath, lame, and the other one is Ronin also kind of lame. I didn't get any of my favorite characters, but regardless, that's just a nice little bonus that they included in the same art style as the cover. This is an incredible release that they teamed up with with Marvel, and yeah, it's just, it, this is such a beautiful jacket, and the, the record sounds good, it looks good. Um, I'm really excited that I own this. Something a lot of Mondo records have are these kind of obi strip type things on the side, and uh, I'm gonna have to hold them on when I hold these up, but this is a recent release from Mondo, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This was one of my favorite games growing up. I I was a PlayStation fanatic. I was always playing Final Fantasy and, you know, all the games that were RPGs of that era. But one of the other ones that really won me over was Symphony of the Night. You play as Alucard, which is Dracula backwards for those of us who were a little slow. He is a vampire and he is awesome. And <laughs> what? I didn't get it. So I'm a little slow. <laughs> Alucard. Damn it, Chris. They did an absolutely wondrous job with this release. They also included some of the tracks from the Sega Saturn port of the game, which is kind of interesting. Uh, unbelievable gatefold, where you have uh, Richter and Maria in the middle. And I was able to get the limited edition out of a thousand tricolor record, which is absolutely gorgeous, as I'll show you right now. Uh, it has this nice gold, black, and white. I don't have any record that looks remotely like this, so definite score. And yeah, I, people have been wanting this for a long time. They've been, they started pressing Castlevania records a couple, maybe like a year or two ago, and they've always been teasing Symphony of the Night, and everyone was like, where is it? Because that's probably the most, probably the most beloved Castlevania game I've had to just make an assumption right now. And this is just an excellent job all around. Packaging, sound, and finally we, we have it. Us, us gamer nerds can appreciate it. Oh, Dracula which is Alucard forward. Keeping with the game theme, another one I've shown off before, but I'm super happy to own it, the first pressing of Katamari Damacy soundtrack. Now, if you don't know Katamari Damacy, bizarre Japanese game where you're a little guy and you have a ball and you start rolling up like pencils and it's like a sticky ball. You roll up like paper clips and you start rolling up chairs and you start rolling up desks and then you roll up houses and you roll up planets by the end of it and like the universe is getting rolled up. It's the trippiest game ever, but the soundtrack is what makes it so excellent. It's this whimsical, J-pop inspired, experimental genre through all sorts of genres and it goes all over the place sometimes it's classy sometimes it's harsh and overall it deserved the vinyl pressing and Mondo did it well this is one of the best sounding soundtracks I think I've gotten from them and it's just uh, this is the, the king of everything and uh, looking at your little Katamari dude and he's really creepy and this is an awesome gatefold. Discs are really cool too. And the way they did the inner sleeves are awesome because it looks like the Katamari ball with all the stuff in it. And this one's green and purple and this one's red and white. It was limited to 3000 copies and sold out I think in a day, which is absolutely absurd for that many copies. That's how in demand this was from the video game vinyl world. And you know what? They did a second pressing recently. So I think the colors have changed. I'm not sure what they are, but really glad I got the first pressing. And finally, the record I will be giving away in this video is the soundtrack to Over the Garden Wall. This was a mini-series done for Cartoon Network starring Elijah Wood, and uh, this is just an absolutely beautiful package as well. This gatefold has this kind of like glossy creature on the inside, 
and uh, it's just really, a, the, the presentation's beautiful. The record, of course, is colored as well. They call this the Harvest Festival Edition. So really nice, under light too, it just really pops. It's this beautiful yellow with like kind of orange splatter. Looks great. This is not the first pressing. The first pressing was at Comic-Con, I think, uh, year or two ago and it sold out really fast and went for crazy prices in the aftermarket so I never picked it up but now that they repressed it I had no excuse not to. Also comes with a really nice booklet 20 pages with kind of like sheet music and notes on the inside so that's a nice touch. It's a string heavy soundtrack some piano parts some parts with people singing so it's not entirely instrumental and if you love the miniseries you know how great the music is so you will have a chance to own this as well. If you go to the description I'm gonna tell you exactly how to enter anyone can enter and it's super easy to do so so scroll down after this video enter and uh, hopefully you will win this. So those are four of my favorite Mondo records one of them will be one of yours so Thank you for watching this video. There will be a part two, and I'll probably give away another record too. So make sure you're subscribed to Too Many Records. Make sure you follow me on all social media so you don't miss any awesome videos I drop. More videos soon.